Lakshman N is the name in the history which doesn't need any introduction. A Turkic conqueror chiefly remembered for the barbarity of his conquests from India and Russia to the Mediterranean Sea and for the cultural achievements of his dynasty. Born into the Barlas, a Mongolian tribe in Transoxania, modern Dres, Uzbekistan on 9th April 1336. It was a part of Jagatai Khanate. His name Temur means iron. It is the same as the Chinggis Khan's birth name, that is Temujin. In his childhood, Temur and a small band of followers raided travelers for goods, especially animals such as sheep, horses, and cattle. Around 1363, it is believed that Temur tried to steal a sheep from a shepherd but was shot by two arrows one in his right leg and another in his right hand, where he lost two fingers. Both injuries crippled him for his life. Temur's injuries have given him the names of Temur the Lame or Temurlan by Europeans. Like Genghis Khan, Temur first defeated other tribal chiefs. He then builds up his own army power by absorbing smaller rulers into his new empire. Temur's ambition was to rebuild the United Empire of Genghis Khan. According to Mongol, enacting in the name of Jagatai ruler of Transoxania, to reinforce this position, Timur claimed the title of Guregan, royal son-in-law, when he married Sarai Muluk Khanum, a princess of Jagatai's descent. Temur made Samarkand his capital city. Becoming the successor to the Chagatai branch of Mongols in Central Asia. Over the course of three decades, he took control of the lands of the Golden Road and the Chagatai Khanate, defeated Mamluks and the Ottomans, destroyed that remains of Banga, and invaded Anatolia. Meanwhile, Temur invaded Delhi and defeated the last ruler of the Kuklag. Temur soldiers looted and plundered the city of Delhi for three consecutive days. He carried off all the looted treasures, artisans, and slaves back with him to his capital at Samarkand. He strove to make his capital Samarkand the most splendid city in Asia, but when he visited, he stayed only for a few days and then moved back to the pavilion of his campsite in the plains beyond the city. Timur was known for his skulls of death. Timur was above all master of military techniques developed by Genghis Khan. He never missed an opportunity to exploit the weakness, treasury, alliance to serve his purposes. The seeds of victory were sown among the ranks of enemy by his agents before an enemy engagement. He conducted sophisticated negotiation with both neighboring and distant powers which are recorded in the diplomatic archives of England and China. In the battle, the nomadic tactics of mobility and surprise were his major weapons of attack. The diplomatic archives of England and China. In the battle, the nomadic tactics of mobility and surprise were his major weapons of attack. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such pedagogical videos. Bye. Take care.